Guys, I want to talk to you about Helix Microfiber. Helix Microfiber. Still got a lot more material coming in on this, but let's just talk about it in this respect. This is return on investment. You can go to Helix Micro Rebar yourself, and you can pull up a chart they'll have there from Micro Rebar. I do have permission to use their uh, their material, so there we have that. Um, uh, and so anybody else trying to use it, remember you need to get permission or 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 do some critiquing. So the uh, price of rebar is, as they calculate, five hundred fifty dollars per ton. Fair enough. Labor charge, $30 per hour per man, you know, including that's workman's comp, etc. That's That sounds about right. Rebar mesh, square foot per hour, 200. That's, uh, you're going to be number of laborers, one, miscellaneous costs. All right, so what you're doing here is that you're going to be at 550 a ton. Now, when you're doing the helix, 550 a ton, however ton, many tons it is, compared to $500 a ton, You'll have no labor cost in installing the uh, the rebar, the, uh, the helix rather, because it's in the concrete mix the day of. It's in the pour itself, so there'll be no cost. You'll save from having to go to the job site. All you have to do is prep, 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 prep your foundation. Prep your foundation, prep your formwork, and just wait for the pour to come in. What's kind of cool about this, you don't have to about, worry about inspections on your rebar. Your reinforcement, your rebar, no inspections needed because you're not applying, you're not implying this, implying, you're not applying rebar, installing rebar, so no inspection. No, no, no worry about deviation of the rebar because you won't be using it. Now, Helix Micro Rebar Company, Helix there, and doing a little bit of pros for them, if you will, they'll do help you with the engineering. So there goes, uh, there goes the cost of, uh, of that. They'll help you with the engineering for this product and of course you would be engineering your rebar also for for the job site unless you're one of those guys who just uh as we say cowboy it right out that way you would say cowboy it just you know hey that's good enough just tie it up half inch rebar number four rebar tie it up leave a leave a two inch spacing at the at the edge of the forms and that's it and just place it here all right well that that's 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 uh that's uh just that's just cowboying it, right? So in that case, you might just add, use their chart over here. Let me get you their chart. If you're going to do the cowboy thing, give me a second here. So if you're going to do the cowboy thing, you might as well come over here and use their chart. You might as well slip over to their chart here and enter your measurements and upsize it. And you'll see your bending moments down here. Now, I don't know where they determine their bending moments. I'm working on that still to, for confirmation. They have a, uh, a calculators. They've got some nice little things going on here in their little systems. Oh, not ready for that one yet. It's another company. All right, data sheets. They've got the data sheets on the uh, half-inch micro bars. I'm having them send me over some photographs now, the finished product, so, um, and literally the finishing, so you can determine that. Um, here's the uh, 25 millimeter, which is your one inch, and of course you got your two inch. You can do this in a few places. If you come up here under tools and concrete volume calculators, webinars, online training, all this stuff is here. Uh, I would recommend you buy a box of it, give it a shot. The box is 20, let me look at my notes here, 22 pounds, the smallest box. It's going to cost you about $2.55 per pound current, current pricing. As of time making this video, plus shipping, um, it will tell you how much to add per per whatever per whatever you're using, right? Fifty thousand six hundred fourteen strands per kilogram, or twenty three thousand strands per pound. As I was informed, when it comes in a box, it will be straight. You get these straight in the box, not not. Um, random mix as you have seen in other like uh um some of your fiber mesh is rather what i'm telling you your fiber mesh will do that um so i'm, I'm sorry i was referring to the uh 525 so if you're going to mix it at the at the road there uh in a truck in the hopper you're just going to make sure you mix it you're going to read read over here find the instructions but you're going to get it down to two inches two inch uh, segregations if you will you're going to run it through a sieve at two inches. 
I'm going to actually experiment with some of this helix. I love fiber and I've been wanting to get hold of some helix. And so now I'm going to work on some helix. I just want to give you guys a heads up on where we're going with some helix product. Now there are other products besides helix that are not, that are not helixed, if you will. The uh, spiral. They're, they're just straight uh, metal. So we'll look at it. We'll look at it. They, this is also proved in, uh, or can be improved at as far as I'm, as far as I can understand, any location around the country. Now I'm trying to find out for you guys, and we have to wait for it to come in. The unsupported spans this can take. That's very critical for me. The unsupported spans because ultimately that's what happens in concrete. You guys pour a pad. We all pour a pad. Water gets underneath it. It causes some expansion and some contraction of the soils, creating voids between the concrete and the soil. The loads come on top of that section there, and that's where we get our break. So I'd love to find, I'm waiting for the manufacturer to get back to me, their engineer to get back to me, about any if they if they have some unsupported spans, and basically in a header format of this product. Then we can go from there. Otherwise, uh, my when I purchase this product, it's going to be in a testing of unsupported spans and watching deflection and, and failure at that point. That's how I would determine it compared against concrete with rebar. All right, take care, guys. Just wanted to give you an update where we're going with this. Uh, here's the website. I um, hope you can appreciate it, this product, Helix. Um, what can I get you? What can I get you? Um, I'll get you this. Now, we'll come back to this. We'll just let this ride down this video. Hope this was helpful or start to helpful about uh, where, where I want to go in concrete with you guys ultimately saying get away from this stone get away from stone It's not it, It's it's a, it's a myth about the stones or let me see if I can find this other link. Hold on The stones are the only way you must have stones in your concrete uh, Yeah, quick time. There we go Okay, here's the contact information for you guys contact them at this phone number here that email address, if you like, I mean, that website we're at now, they're USA Made, ACI 318, ACI 360, and ASTM, somewhere down here. Here's your application, as I just described to you, installing it, how you're going to do that. Um, I want to get you something else. Bear with me. So, as I stated about the stone, all right, so... We'll see that they're working with the rebar and mesh in this video. Again, I do not like angular stone for clarity. Angular stone, I think, is, is something else. And I don't mean it in a positive way. Let's go ahead and play their video. This is Helix uh, introduction video. And I'll terminate video after that, I think. Helix Micro Rebar is engineered to replace rebar and mesh in concrete. For 10 years, it's proven itself in doing just that in applications ranging from slabs to multi-story buildings. Helix is the only alternative to rebar and mesh, providing engineers with a comprehensive peer-reviewed design method that not only meets building code requirements, but is also easy to use because design is accomplished the You see the uh, stones they have in here. They're not quite angular. I'm trying to see how it's angular. So they mix it with some angular stones. Um, now these, I'm waiting for the photographs to see how the paste uh, will, will just appear. This must be the two inch product. That looks like a wall product. Same as with rebar. The method is backed by years of experience in addition to independent ICC certified lab. So I don't know about this video guys, but you see the guy with no gloves on. A uh, little, little, little weird, right? Laboratory testing of helix reinforced concrete using the same method used for rebar testing. The design process incorporates a minimum safety factor of three on all designs. That means Helix designs provide three times the strength required for all applications. Implementation of Helix requires no special skills. It may be added directly to the truck at the batch plant or on site. That's the batch plant. This is not on site. Because as I read the directions, you could, you dump it in here for about 20, 20 gallons of water. So if you just dump it like that, that's at the batch plant. It does not clump or ball in the mixer. And ref 
So don't think that that just came right out of the truck. That was the batch plant. Now we're at this point. Requires a maximum of five minutes of mixing to evenly distribute it throughout the mix. Helix is electroplated with a zinc coating protecting it from corrosion. Hand operated semi automatic. And this is how you would do it at the uh, job site now. These two inch um, holes would allow you to uh, now place it. Fully automatic dosing equipment is available for larger jobs, making Helix Edition a snap. In slab applications, Helix. Look at that. No rebar. Ah, uh, well. I guess that would be the rebar, but no rebar to clip over, fall over, break your neck, keep lifting up, bend, deflect, all this craziness. Speeds the project by eliminating the need to place, tie, and chair up rebar. Further, As they bring over some chaired rebar, <laughs> that's probably a beam. Helix allows uninhibited movement of automated finishing. That means that they can drive out here onto the soils instead of... Uh, and it's flab on grade. Instead of uh, having to, you know, just move rebar and do all the craziness. Equipment, like laser screeds. As you can see the back and of the truck. eliminates the need for a pump. And there's your, uh, your beam on grade, I guess, right there. As trucks can directly discharge the concrete into the pour area, since no rebar or mesh is in the way. A wide range of finishes, including machine and broom or textured finishes, are easily and reliably accomplished using standard finishing practices. Good finishing technique, by its nature, forces coarser and heavier materials, including helix, below the surface. Finishing training is available through ACI and others, covering all of these techniques. Helix may be used in both interior and exterior applications. This example highlights Helix replacing two layers of rebar in a thick exterior slab, subject to extremely high loads. Helix has even been used to replace rebar in slabs designed for M1A. Isn't that crazy? And some good stuff there. Abrams tank traffic by the U.S. military. So this will be U.S. Department of Defense approved at this point, or maybe it was sampling. But it sounds like it's not. When it's pumping approved. is it's necessary, approved. sounds like it's approved. Like in cast-in-place walls, it is easily accomplished. The helix will not clog the pump and flows just like the other materials through the system. Form finishes are smooth and in many cases are left exposed to the elements, even in corrosive environments. Helix offers tremendous savings, especially when used with self-consolidating concrete, when replacing concrete in walls and precast. The need for rebar placement and vibration are both greatly reduced. Helix has been... Greatly reduced. You're still going to be probably using it in the header format, um, the header format and then the tie-ins at the, the wall corners perhaps. I, I, don't, I don't know. ...used in over 3,000 yeah, homes in the villages in Florida over the last several years. The integrity of these homes performed perfectly, even when hit by tornadoes and hurricanes. In fact, Helix applied at just 10 pounds per cubic... And they show siding homes, not, the, not that wall system. I have no idea why they did that. Yard meets FEMA's requirements for safe. Maybe that's a, a block rooms wall. designed to resist F5 tornadoes. Uh, wall. Helix not only saves the contractor time and money, which also helps win jobs, but also provides clients with a better, more durable concrete. Look at the drop of that damn, the drop of all that on that pump. It's going up, and then they got that drop. Before it makes the bend and it comes down again. That's one hell of a drop. I don't think that's configured properly. Please contact Helix Micro Rebar for more detail. All right, guys. Terminating the video, I think. I might want to get one more thing for you. Let me see. I'll be right back or I'll be deleting the video. I mean, pausing. So this section of the video, January 13th, a new twist to Helix Rebar. Uh, let's do a quick critique of that. You know, you got the guy in the background and everything else. Positive critique, negative critique, whatever. Um, 
this is 2015 workers on the Manhattan East Side. So this is an update from three years later. Uh, okay, moving on. 45 pound boxes of uh, helix twisted steel micro rebar um, were used. The basic concept is new screw, blah, blah, blah. The, this contractor states that he can do uh, 10, 000, save one day of work. One day of work for every 10,000 square feet of rebar. It's going inside. This stuff is going inside tunnels. It, it's getting some. It's getting some traction. It's getting some traction, guys. This uh, this uh, micro steel uh, reinforcement. Again, I want to see its unsupported span, so I'm going to work on that. And I also need to see its finishing ability. You know, it seems like everybody keeps uh, showing it at a distance, ducking the the tight surfaces. So. Uh, the critique is, really? Come on, I want to know what the, this tight surface looks like at that bridge. You can spray this on, etc. I just want to see what, what it looks like. All right, I'm terminating the video. Just wanted to give you guys a little more something of that. And you can find where the Department of Defense uh, used their products. I already did that. Bye.